ion keto plus if keto plus intermittent fasting the possibility of you stagnating your weight is much more higher than somebody else who's just on keto or you're already stagnated here are the reasons why you're stagnated stay tuned till the end to know more hi welcome to this video the topic of this video is keto plus intermittent fasting we'll be dividing this topic into three simple chapters one introduction what is keto and if number two what are the reasons why you stagnate so early number third is conclusion what could be your ways of moving on with this stagnancy number one what is keto and if ketogenic diet is a high fat adequate protein and low carbohydrate diet helps you burn fat to fuel i'm also attaching a link in my description for you to know more about keto there's a playlist which can help you to know more about keto intermittent fasting is a pattern or it can be a tool which you can use while you are doing any diet so intermittent fasting can go with a low carb diet it can also be on a ketogenic diet you can also independently be on this fasting state or this pattern where you eat only for 8 hours or you eat only for 6 hours and the rest of the day you are fasting why am i taking this as an example because this is the most popular way of keto plus if which a lot of us have applied and we have tried to lose fat and quite a lot of us are actually successful number 2 Five reasons why you can stagnate on keto plus IF earlier than somebody else who is just doing keto. And what could be your missing links which you should remember? Number one, you started your diet with keto and intermittent fasting. Now here you are forgetting the simple fact that your body was accustomed to eating these three to five meals and as well as carbohydrates, right? So when you are shifting a metabolic state which is instead of glucogenesis, you are shifting to ketogenesis you have to also give your body some time to adapt to it. Now, when you start with intermittent fasting immediately, and the previous day you were eating 13, 14 hours, 15 hours you were eating, and you were eating all the carbs. So firstly, when you start with keto plus IF, your body will take a while to get adapted to this. Now, when it takes a while to get adapted to this, you would have no other tool to use. Because what will you do? If you're eating for just six hours, eight hours, how, how much can you reduce? You can reduce it to four hours, maybe let's say one meal a day, or you can adapt to keto and change your patterns to an extent but you don't have a lot of buffer here because the idea is which is the second point that you should adapt to progressive approach now a lot of us what we do is we simply miss progressive approach and apply patterns too early conversations with my clients every morning oh my god my weight has gone up so do something Rahul do something we should change the pattern we should quickly work on it that's the wrong approach in fat loss progressive approach is that let me give you an example Think about you are in class, class you are in first class and you go for a session which is for class 10th. Will you, will you understand everything? You will obviously not, right? Same thing happens for the body. That you simply skip those steps where you should start with keto, then you can change some patterns there, include some workout, take care of your fundamentals of keto, get accustomed to it, and then you may apply intermittent fasting or you may apply OMAD, which is one meal a day. This is what is progressive keto which you should plan according to your journey, your goals and where you're starting and where you want to go. So when you apply too early, what happens is that your body knows what you're going to do next. And this is where we make a mistake of applying things just simply how we get to know about it that okay, keto plus I, let's do it within three weeks of keto. Not a great idea. Number three, your keto diet is absolutely wrong or you're not on ketosis. You do not check your keto meters. Like I have a diastix here, which is kept here which is for urine steps as well. So you're not on keto, you feel keto. You think that you're eating high fats and you are on keto. You're eating popcorn on keto. You're eating, you're drinking coconut water on keto. You're drinking a lot of milk on keto. You are out of keto. So your basics of keto, which are fundamentals of keto or being on keto are absolutely incorrect. And this also causes a lot of stagnancy because your body knows that, okay, I can, I can crib and crave and I can make this person eat some carbs. So this is another point why people get stagnated because the basic idea of keto or they're stagnated right now, the basic aspect of being on keto is absolutely out of place. Number fourth, your intermittent fasting is too relaxed. You're just chilling about it. Oh wow, I'm fasting for 16 hours. 16 hours may not be challenging for your body. You'll have to find what is challenging for your body, right? You would want to increase your hours of fasting to 18 hours. You would want to increase your hours of fasting to 20 hours. You may want to start with intermittent fasting on alternate days as well. There are different patterns of intermittent fasting. That one day you are fasting for 18 hours and eating only for 6 hours. And the next day you are normally eating how you are eating on keto. So these are few things which you should try to figure out whether what is happening with your intermittent fasting routine. 
Intermittent fasting is a tool. You can change this tool and change this pattern only to an extent. You can't be hungry for three days, seven days, ten days. You can't do that because that is not going to help you lose fat. Body loves losing fat when it has its own speed deficit in calories, and as well as there is some fasting included. You are on a keto diet, so these are few things which you need to also figure out about intermittent fasting. So apart from all these four points, we'll come to the fifth point that everything is on track. Your intermittent fasting is challenging enough. You are on keto. You are also very happy about your fat loss. You're getting your results, but now it gets stagnated for like for like two three weeks, and you realize that everything is on track except your fundamentals of keto. You should not be constipated. You should drink 70 ml per kg of water. You should be in ketosis. You should calculate your food. You should sleep well. You need at least two to three hours of deep sleep. Apart from this, you should also not be stressed. You should be checking your body measurements. Like I can, I can go on with this list that your fundamentals of keto cannot be something which are at stake. Now these are the reasons why a lot of us face stagnancy or we get stagnant very soon because when you play with your body, you do not realize that your body is smarter than what you think. Your body has a memory of the first time when you had a bone fracture. I had a bone fracture on my right, right shoulder, so I can't sleep towards right. Right? I can only sleep towards left side. I have to always ensure that I do not sleep towards my right. I'm leaning on my right shoulder, or I can't do a lot of things from my right shoulder. Now, body has a memory. Body has a memory. We simply think that okay, we are going to adapt to keto, start with intermittent fasting, start it too early, or start with keto plus IF, and then we are not aware on keto, or our intermittent fasting is not too challenging, and we are forgetting the basics of it. These are the five reasons which can be interlinked as well why people stagnate on keto and intermittent fasting too soon, or why they are stagnating. Chapter number three, which is conclusion. What could be a better way of adapting to keto? The best way to adapt to keto is progressive keto, as I said. That you should start with firstly adapting to keto, and then change your patterns gradually. Start with the workout, focus on your fundamentals, and then apply intermittent fasting at a later point. Intermittent fasting is a great tool which you should apply it like a tool. You don't apply anything tools everywhere, and you don't make it hodgepodge, right? So that's why when your body is also going through this fat loss journey, you should try to find out when you can apply this tool and for how long are you going to apply it. What are your expectations out of intermittent fasting? Are you mentally prepared to fast for good good while during this period? Do you have any kind of professional or personal commitment which you may not be able to follow? I have plus keto, or you have keto at stake. So leave I have. I mean I have is going to be one tool of the metabolic state, right, of the fat loss journey. So these are few things about concluding in how you can apply. But if you want to know whether your body is prepared for intermittent fasting, let me give you some statistics about it. I have only tried this with 60 of my clients. When do you know when your body needs it? Do you actually need intermittent fasting? To know more, stay tuned on the channel. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel and as well as like this video, share this with your friends because the next chapter is going to be whether do you need intermittent fasting as a tool or do you not need it. Yeah, I get it. Everybody speaks about intermittent fasting, but I have not been on intermittent fasting during my fat loss phase when I was going down from 117 kgs and I came to 70s. It was purely through keto. So there are other examples also where I can say that some people who have lost 50 plus kgs or somebody who has lost more weight has not been on intermittent fasting. In my professional experience, for almost two years of keto reds, I used to not. Push people towards intermittent fasting. Only selective number of individuals were there. So, how do you find whether your body is going to be prepared for intermittent fasting, or should you change something in your keto diet? So, stay tuned for the next video. This is Rahul Kamra, who is not fasting. Signing off.